started with a prayer. Lord God, I just thank you so much for this time and space. We can come and just, just listen to your message today, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just calm our hearts. Just take everything away that is distracting us from you. And just help us to, to learn something. Or to just be reminded about something about you today, Lord. Lord, I pray that you be with each and every single person. I pray this all in your precious Son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So, are there some things in life that confuse you? Like, some things that maybe you don't quite understand, or you don't really know how to do or what to do about them. For instance, do you know how to drive a car? Now, for some of you, you might not know. For some of you, you might. But for those who don't know how to drive a car, I'm sure you just sort of trust the person who's driving. You trust that they know what they're doing, you know, that they'll get you to that where you need to go safely and you'll get back safely and all of those things. Or maybe you don't know how your cell phone really works or what the inside of your computer or laptop looks like. And you just trust that if it breaks, that someone else will just work on it and they'll know what they are doing. Then there are some, are some other things that we don't really understand or that we might not ever really understand. And that big one is, why did God make mosquitoes? Hmm, very good question. <laughs> Mysteries to ponder. Well, today we are talking about something that can also be tough to understand, and even for adults. And I know whenever I speak about this in the confirmation class, especially this year's confirmation class, actually all confirmation classes, they got super confused. And then they sort of had to work through it, and then they understood it. And this topic that I'm talking about is called the Trinity, because today is called Trinity Sunday. So it comes from a word that means three, try, like tricycle, you know, there's three wheels, or triceratops, or even triangle. The Trinity tells us how God is three persons in one. That, that actually sounds really confusing, right? Yeah? Like my confirmation classes, you were all confused. Welcome. <laughs> so this means that he is one God, but he is Father, the Father, the Creator, the, you know, he created everything around, around us, the Provider, and cares for us. Then there's Jesus, the Son. Jesus is God in human form, the image of God that we, we don't see right now, but who walked to the earth many, many years ago. And he's also the Holy Spirit. So our Bible reading today comes from John chapter 16, verse 12 to 15. And it reads, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. So here Jesus is speaking about the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, but then he also speaks about God the Father, you know, and how like they actually work together. So sometimes the Holy Spirit is quite tough to understand and to explain, but the Holy Spirit is God's presence with us. Like you said, the Spirit of truth will come to you. He'll make things known to you. And the Holy Spirit is what continues God's work and helps us to believe in God and in Jesus. All of these existed from the beginning of time and will always be together. Now, there are some things that people use to try and explain this concept. I even remember I had a, an assignment, a theology, theology assignment, where I had to explain the Trinity. Unfortunately, it is hard to just get one illustration right. So I'm going to use a lemon, right? So this is a lemon, a closed lemon. Yes, smell it. Think about how it tastes. Mmm, sour. Some of you guys like eating lemons. Mm, it's okay. Okay, but when we look inside a lemon, right? So we see the peel. Then we see like the flesh, the sour bit, and then we also see the pips. So now these all make up the lemon, right? But if they are by themselves, it means the lemon is missing something. Yeah, like they, the, this isn't the lemon. The flesh isn't just the lemon. The peel isn't just the lemon. But all together, they make up the lemon. So that is the same way that God is, the, how the Trinity is, that they all work together and that they each have different distinct parts, but they are all, all one. <laughs> a 
I hope you guys understand. Awesome. So another explanation I can use is I'm Chi Chi, obviously. <laughs> I'm a youth pastor, I'm a wife, and I'm also a daughter. Now I'm all those three things, but I am still Chi Chi. I'm still one person. So the same is with the Trinity. God is those, but still one God. Awesome. I hope you guys understand that. That is just our short lesson on what Trinity Sunday is about. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I love questions. We can debate. I love debating. I hope you guys have an awesome week. But first, let's pray before we, before we adjourn. Lord God, I just thank you so much that you are such a loving and compassionate and caring God, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just draw us nearer to you and help us to understand who you really are, Lord. Lord, if we are feeling a little bit confused about you being three in one and all of those things, just open up our hearts and our minds and our spirits to just speak to us and help us to understand more, Lord. Lord, I pray that you continue to be with all of those who are writing exams, Lord. Just calm their hearts, calm their anxieties, and just help them to remember what they have learned, Lord. And to also just help them to study hard, keep them motivated to study hard, Lord. Lord, I pray for everyone who is feeling sick. Lord, I pray that you heal them, that you comfort them, and that your will be done, Lord. Lord, please also just pray for Holiday Club. I pray for your mercies and your blessings, and that we have lots of kids coming, Lord. I pray this all in your prayer. And please, Lord, please just protect us, guard us, and guide us for the rest of this week and next week, Lord. I pray this all in your precious Son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome week. And yes, Holiday Club is coming up. If you haven't bought your form, bring your form in quickly. And if you feel like helping with sponsorship, love that too. Have an awesome week. Bye.